The rain begins to fall, slowly at first. Low points in the street fill up, creating puddles. But not everything holds water. A broken heart, for instance, can't be filled. Droplets stream down the boy's face like tears. It's almost funny since he never lets himself cry. Not anymore. These days, he tries not to feel anything at all. <laughs> the girl runs, faster than anyone, racing through the present, searching for a past that's been left behind. She runs towards the holy gate, the divine gate. The boy who lights flames, the red blazing fire. It is the warmth he has always felt close by since he was little. He believes it was handed down to him by his late father. Oh my gosh, that episode! <laughs> Tell me you watched it! Uh, yeah, of course I did! It was so good! <laughs> This problem. I can finally see it. It's time to rebuild. This whole world is crap. I'll make a better one. You'll see. Huh? What is that? <laughs> Little girl, you believe in the glory of the Divine Gate, right? <laughs> it was once upon a time that three worlds merged into one. Yes, as a result, six incredible abilities were brought to our people. Now the Divine Gate calls to those of us who have faith, those of us who truly deserve its powers. Through the Gate, all things are possible. You've probably heard all this, maybe as an old bedtime story. In fact, I bet you used to fall asleep dreaming that you'd wield such magic yourself. But you forgot about the gate, didn't you? I didn't. I'm one of the chosen few worthy of its blessings. That's so bad! The gate is real, you'll see. And I'm gonna use its power to change this world. I will become God. <laughs> What the hell are you looking at? Help me! I see. You're an adapter, too. Mind your own business! Like that, I'll stop me. You're dead! Generating zone. Um, we're doing this right now? Ready to move on. Okay, it's time to start talking. So what happened? Uh, hey, wait! You violated driver possession laws! How so? I don't even have a driver. Uh, then how did you... Akane! Uh, this guy's not doing so hot. We need to get him help right away. This quest is clear. We have one suspect in custody. He's in critical condition. Please send medical aid immediately. Roger that. This zone will be maintained until the rescue Tron arrives. Uh, stop! All this rain. I should have known something like this would happen. The rain doesn't fall forever. Time is the only thing that's unstoppable. <sighs> uh. 
I've seen you before. Why are you following me? The Divine Gate is almost within your reach, but you refuse to seek it out, Alto. You think it's something intangible, like emotion or thought, don't you? You weirdo. <laughs> Several people were injured this morning when a deranged man used a driver to attack the passengers of an inbound Central Line tram car. So far, no motive has been uncovered for the assault. Two students from the World Council Academy who happened to be riding the tram car at the time of the incident managed to apprehend the attacker, saving many innocent lives. Oh, well, thanks, it was nothing. <laughs> About the guy who got away. I can't help wondering who he is. Blue Eyes? They've got people looking into him. He's an adapter, so I'm sure we'll know soon enough. Race you there! No fair! <laughs> Italy! Uh, he was a water user. Do you think it's possible he didn't have a driver? I don't know. All I could tell is he must have been crying recently. Huh? You think so? Jeez, how do you have so much stamina? Don't you ever get tired of running around all the time? You're crazy! It's my favorite thing! I'd run in a straight line forever, all the way around the world if I had the chance to. The only problem with running so fast is that I'm afraid I might miss something one of these days. <laughs> I'm the winner! <laughs> You know what would be the best thing in the world? If the Divine Gate would suddenly appear right here in front of me. Not this again. One, two, if you'd stop talking about one, the gate, two. you'd have more friends. So? I've already got a best friend who understands me. I'm cool. I don't know. Maybe you should listen to him, Bun. Mm, oh, hi. Hey, pal. Where were you this morning? Pets are supposed to be loyal. Watch it or I won't share my intel, Bun. Now, now. No fighting. So, what's the scoop, Metabon? Ready for this? According to surveillance cameras, this morning's incident was caused by the fire user, Bun. Fortunately, the water user managed to take him down, Bun. Interesting. <gasps> wow. Man, we gotta figure out who this guy is. He's got the look of a cold-blooded killer to me. You really think so? It still seems to me like the poor boy's about to burst into tears. Or maybe he looks like that because he's able to see the Divine Gate. Would you please shut up about that fairy tale? Your wish-granting magical gate doesn't exist, so enough already! Come on! Aww, you secretly believe in it too. You've got to be kidding me! I'm not some stupid kid, okay? Please, if you don't believe in the gate, then why are you here? Let me guess, uh, it's because you want to use the driver's power. Or maybe become a hero. Uh, or both. Well, I don't know. You believe, I told ya. Sure, you got me. We have information regarding the incident on the tram. It seems the attacker came to Terastia for a contract job two years ago. He's a demon and an adapter. How is he doing? He's severely injured but stabilized. He'll live. Maybe he couldn't adapt to the environment here and it drove him mad. Actually, we suspect that he might be suffering from some form of psychotic disorder. Ugh, I hate dealing with beings from Holistia. Those guys are the worst. You can't stereotype an entire uh. world like that. There are good and evil humans here on Terastia. It's the same thing for the demons, and for the fairies too. We all have the capacity to be villains or heroes. Well, you are a perfect example of a totally psychotic human, so I guess you're right. what you just say?! Whatever his homeworld, we'll punish him the way we would punish a human criminal. You got it, boss. And? What about the boy who was there? He left the crime scene before anyone could talk to him. I see. I'd like to have a chat with him and hear his side. Then I'll make sure that happens. You've taken some kind of special interest in this water-using boy, haven't you, Arthur? Perhaps. But with good reason. It's the same attention I'd give anyone with his abilities. Yeah, but you don't know. If he's as powerful as he seems, then I will have him attend our academy. That way he won't be a problem. 
Something about him rubs me the wrong way. Well, I certainly understand your reservations, but you'll have to trust me on this. Oh, don't worry. I know what my place is. Good. Thank you. So gross. Mackerel ramen? Sounds disgusting. And did you see him put ice in there too? No. He's got the strangest eating habits. Cold watered down soup. Well, he did kill his parents. He's a psycho, for real. You mean, all of the rumors about him are true? My parents definitely think he did it. Apparently, he was neglected as a child and went through some seriously messed up stuff growing up. For real? No way! If he killed his parents, then how come he's free to walk around and go to school? I wish the rain would fall even harder, swallowing everything like a muddy stream. But even then, a rain cannot put out a fire. Special advisor, you called for us, ma'am? Didn't I tell you never to call me ma'am? You could have killed me! I had faith that you dodged the attack. That's the reason we left the Heaven World in the first place, or do you not remember our oath? It's our duty as adapters to use our abilities to maintain peace for the greater good. Are you being sarcastic? So, Master. What did you want to talk to us about? This morning's tram incident. Or have you foiled more crimes since then? Uh, we've already heard the news reports about it. Then this should be a fairly quick meeting. We want you to find the water user and recruit him into the academy. Uh, you want us to make him part of our team? You gotta be kidding. We're always looking to recruit more people with abilities. I'm told that Arthur has offered him a place at the Academy several times already, but the boy has refused him each time. Hmm. I wonder why. I don't know, but for a human with that much power, the safest place for him to be is here. There are probably plenty of other people who want to get their hands on this kid. I'll... So we're leaving it to you two to persuade him. Fail and you'll disappoint everyone at the Academy, the entire World Council. Huh? But you're not the only one on this job. They sent the Water Fairy, and she's got a head start on you. Darn, really? Don't worry, uh, we've got this. I can be super persuasive, you know. <laughs> now that's a spirit. Oh, I guess you should know his name. It's Auto? I feel like I've heard that name before. I'm sure you have. It was all over the news four years ago when his parents were found dead, seeing as the media called him the killer. <clears throat> Why are you here again? Oh, you know, Arthur told me to talk you into joining us. But really, I'm here on my own. I guess I like being around you or something. Another example of my bad luck. What's so great about the regular school you're in now, huh? At the Academy, all your classmates would be adapters just like you are. You'd probably fit in a little better. I've already turned Arthur down. I don't know why he thinks you'll change my mind. He says we need your power to maintain world peace, but if I'm being honest, I think you're the one who needs our help. Come on, Alto. Join the Academy, and use it as a chance to finally put the past far behind you. Long time no see, Alto. Thank you for coming. Figured I didn't have much of a choice when I heard that you wanted to talk about this morning's attack. You know your duty. Are you going to arrest me? Of course not. Why would I? You could have killed that criminal for all I care. He deserved it. That's not who I am. I don't have that kind of power. You're a terrible liar, aren't you? Well, anyway. I have something for you. Go on, don't be afraid. Take it. <laughs> it's a driver created just for you. Regardless of what you might think, your abilities can attract the attention of other people with strong powers. Believe me.
Without drivers, we gifted humans are no match for Halistia's monstrous demons, or even the mighty fairies of Celestia. Whatever you say, but I don't want this thing, so... I'll see myself out. Here is my offer. The truth. I'll never lie to you, Auto. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to face reality. Until then, I'll be here waiting for you. Uh, hey, there he is! Huh? Yo! Hey, sorry about this morning. Me too. It was a misunderstanding. Sure. Anyway, since you're here, would you like a tour of the Academy or something? All the people here are adapters who can wield special powers, like us. And why should I care? Oh, well, uh... Listen, we were told to recruit you, so why not make it easy on us? Would you shut up? What? There's no point keeping it a secret. Moving on, there really are a ton of great reasons to come here. You would get the chance to hone your ability. What would you do with my power? <laughs> You'd use me. Uh, sorry. We can reach the Divine Gate together. Our wishes will be granted! I told you to cut that stuff out! You can see the gate, can't you? I'm right, aren't I? You can! Even if I could, I don't have any wishes to ask for. Well, I guess we can't force you to join, but... You should know that we're serious about what we do! We're keeping the peace! Remember that. Oh, also... I don't like secrets, so I'll go ahead and tell you. I know what everyone says about you. That you killed your parents. But I don't believe the rumors. What's important to me is that you do what- Save your breath. I did kill them. It was my fault. Come back to mock me some more? You're a giant liar, but then again you're not. You could have killed them, but you chose not to. You act like you feel nothing, but you do. Rain won't fall forever, but after that day, you refuse to let the sun shine on your heart ever again. You can't even eat warm food because everything they gave you was cold, just like their hearts were to you. You don't even know who you really are anymore. You've begun to believe all your own lies. Who are you? Just someone who's been watching all this time. You make Mommy so proud, darling. She's not alone. Because of your ability, I'm happy to be your father. Please, just shut up. <laughs> Sorry, son. Yes, we're just so happy you're our son. Oh, I know. Let's go buy that new game you want next Sunday. Just the three of us. We'll make a whole day of it. How does that sound? Good idea. I say we do it, yeah? It's been a mystery to me, big brother. You want to hate them, but you can't do it. You want to kill them, but you refuse to. I know everything about you. I've seen the true color of your heart. It's blue. Frozen and shattered, big brother. Deep down inside, you're as cold as ice is. I could end all your suffering if I really wanted to. But I honestly don't care.
You're crying on the inside, always. Finally opened. Time to see what's on the other side. Trust me on this. As a kid, I learned you can't always act on the things you want to. You go by the name of Santa Claus, and yet you show up with presents even when it's not the holiday season. Even if you're in pain, don't let it control you. <laughs> 